Hello and welcome. In a video that I did in the past, I did a range test with my 2013 Nissan LEAF driving around on city streets continuously from 100% state of charge on the battery all the way down to 5% to get an idea of uh, how far the car will go now that it's 7 years old and has 67,000 miles on it. If you are interested in seeing the city street driving test, feel free to click on this link that will pop out right there and you'll be able to go watch that. Well today I'm going to do a similar test but I'm going to go as much on the freeway as I can and I'll be going 75 miles an hour uh, in this case. So I'm going to be leaving here from my house at 100% charge. I'll get to the freeway as quickly as I can and then go down on the freeway and as far as I dare, turn around, come back and then I'll finish off the battery on city streets. Um, tr still trying to get down as close as I can to the bottom end of the battery and we'll see how big of a difference there is between city street exclusive driving and mostly freeway driving. So take note that the battery is at 100% and down here I am going to reset the tripometer and uh, the car is estimating 54 miles of range. When I finished the last test it was estimating 59 miles of range so that, that thing moves around a bit so uh, we'll see how much that changes when we get back from this trip. Also take note of the current battery's condition. If we look over here on the right side where it says 54, it has these um, blue bars with the white tips on them. That's the current state of charge. And so it goes all the way up and there's 12 bars and that's 400%. Uh, these little bars here on the side though show the current state of the battery's uh, health and its uh, c capacity. And you can see it's missing five bars from the top. And so our battery has diminished uh, capacity right now and that's what we're testing is to see uh, how bad it is, especially when we are consuming a lot of energy on the freeway. So let's get started. I'm now getting on the freeway and it has taken 5% of the battery just to get to the on-ramp of the freeway. I am setting the cruise control for 75 miles per hour. The weather is about the same, it's 63 degrees outside according to the car. Also, I'm not using the air conditioning or the heater, so the HVAC system is completely turned off so that that won't be a factor in uh, this test. We've now been on the freeway for um, almost 14 miles. We're going to be exiting here at the next exit in a mile and then we'll be heading back. And then we'll potentially be going past the exit where I came from. Uh, I just don't want to get too far away from home and uh, you know, risking if, it, if the battery drops off too quickly. It's been 36 minutes since I left home. We have gone 38.6 miles and the battery just went to 5%. And so I'm going to be getting off here off the freeway and getting back home and we'll probably be down to closer to 3% by the time I do that. I just got off the freeway and the percent came back up to 6%. That is something I had seen that it did on my last test where it went down to where it was just blinking and dashes uh, below you know, 6%. And then when I stopped, it would, the voltage rises again and it jumps back up to 6%. Here's something new I've never seen before. Uh, it now is showing the turtle icon and it said that the motor power is limited. I've never run it low enough to see that apparently. I am just pulling into my driveway and we have been gone for 46 minutes and we went 42.7 miles. All right, I am back parked in my garage. I'm going to get the car plugged in. We'll charge it back up to 100% and see how much energy it takes. The girls wanted to show me their cute bows. These are for Halloween, obviously. Oh, and rings? <laughs> you don't have a ring. And neither do you, Clara. Really cute girls. Hey, Clara. What are you drawing? Um, I'm drawing a reindeer. Oh, is it the same as this one wheel? Oh, good job, Clara. I love it. Hey, Daddy, look what I'm making. That's what I'm making. What are you? What, I don't know. It looks like it's just a square. Or is that a birthday cake? It's a bottle. <laughs> and this is Lucy's rocket right there. And this is Lucy's version of the one wheel. Oh, well, that's what I guessed. Am I right? Am I right, Lucy? <laughs> Great job, Lucy. It is finally done charging.
Interestingly, it's showing 50 projected miles now where it was at 59 projected miles when it was finished charging on the last charge. All total, it was 12.6 miles less distance driven going on the freeway and it was uh, 53 minutes total of driving and so that is one hour and two minutes less than when we were driving around town. So we obviously burned through a lot more energy and a lot less time. Um, not No surprise there, of course. Um, the total amount of energy that was put into the battery was 13.19 kilowatt hours. And on the last bit, uh, the last time I charged it, it was 13.2 kilowatt hours. So virtually the same. Um, and then it was charging for a to total of two hours and 55 minutes. But to be honest, that last like two to 3% took like 55 minutes. So uh, the bulk of that was in like two hours. Needless to say, the battery technology in the Leaf is far inferior to what is in my 2015 Tesla Model S, which currently has 95,000 miles on it and only has 6% battery degradation. If you're interested in other follow-up videos relating to the performance of my electric vehicles or my solar or other things, uh, please click subscribe to my channel and change that bell notification to all. Also, don't forget to like this video and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. So let's see your bow again. We have some pumpkins and bat and a spider and a black cat. And with some shoes. And yours probably have much the same, yeah. So cute. Oh, lots of shoes on yours, Lucy. <laughs> really cute, girls.